Hi, it's Tay with Tea Quilts, and I thought that I would come and share with you a haul that I got on Amazon. It is actually for a Sashiko kits, and I thought that I would share it with you because it was something that was different that I found. So I actually purchased three separate kits from Amazon and they came in these bags and I'm glad that they were bags so that way when they were doing the pulling for mailing that they wouldn't mess up and leave something out. So as you can see on this package I have some other things included whereas these packages are just kits and threads. So let's open this first one up. This first one cost $26.50 and I will make sure to leave links down in the description box. So let's see what we have. The, the only thing with kits is that you can't pick what it is that you want. You can't pick the actual pattern. So since I'm new to this, I was able to buy all the three kits that were offered from this one supplier. And I'm going to show you that in the first one, I paid $26.50 and I've got three patterns, five skeins of sashiko thread, some instructions, a package of needles. So they've got three different kinds of thimbles. And you actually put the thimble on your pushing hand like where my ring is. This part would be sticking out on my hand and you're actually using this to push and so I will be doing a separate video where I am actually working on Sashiko so I'll share that with you later but I wanted to show you what came in the kits so then we also have needles has six in a package and then I also have instructions that are written in English nothing's on the back <laughs> and then again I have five skeins of sashiko yarn and then the three kits that I have I was trying to see if I could find numbers yes yeah, so it's 84 38 203 so they do have numbers on them and they also have pictures on them what this these packages are missing from other ones that I have seen is like starting instructions on how to actually piece so let me just make sure it's not on the back so the back is clear so there are not any instructions on the packaging that will show you how to actually do this and then this one is 84 38-201 so I think that these are very comparable to other numbers that I have seen on Chef Sashiko so that's three different kind right here so I'm going to lay those out now I've got two other packages that also has three of the kits and then they also have five packages of the yarn or thread. So let's just see what else is in what pa piecing patterns that I have. So the thread I'm just going to put to the side. And so here I kind of have fans and like plumes. I'm not sure what they call the flower. I'm just going to call it a plume. And then I also have this one here. And it has dragonflies in here with the fan and then some kind of cross hatching and then this one has some kind of flower plume again with some grid work as well so three different ones in here and this package with this three and the thread was $22.50 and I'm sure 
and again came with instructions and i'm sure by the time you all see this prices change so much on amazon and it's based on supply and demand so i do have another source as i've been looking for packages to buy but i'll talk about that when we go into the actual work process so on this one i've got another one where you've got the corners kind of rounded out and then this one is like little bunnies i haven't seen this one before so this number is 8438207 8438208 with the bunnies and then i've got like interlocking keys and it's 8438210. So let's see what these other numbers were 8438206, 8438205, and 8438204. So I don't know why these particular ones, the other ones on Navy that I have, or like just they don't have this 8438 in front. So I'm going to have to investigate what these numbers are and what they mean. But, uh, Let's just open one of them up and see if it feels like other Sashiko kits that I've seen. The color looks good. So. So here is the cloth and let's see it should be two layers so I've got two layers and you have the option when you're doing sashiko of sewing through one layer or two and then on the back they have the instructions in Japanese and this will wash out if you just want to use it as a pillow back so all of this will actually wash out so these are pre-printed samplers uh, patterns is what they actually call them and so I am going to start sewing some of these and then I'm going to come back and do uh, tips and tricks with you so I'll see you all in my next video bye bye everybody